All right. In this video, I'm gonna talk to you today about the bowling RGB LED light. So let's get into it. Can you guys see it? I actually got braces. And I actually got a tooth taken out. So you'll be able to see like a little gap. But oh well. You know, something they go through. So Bowling actually sent me this light and what's really nice about it is that I was actually using the Aperture Amor and I still use this one only because mainly it's really small and compact. And as you can see here, as far as size goes, it's very similar in size. Well, this is actually a lot smaller in size, but the output on the Bowling is a lot more. But when I first got the Bowling, I was really impressed with the build quality. Now, I've seen a lot of other portable lights that are this small, but they all come as like, you know, more of like a plasticky material. This thing is all aluminum on the outside and it has this really, really cool, as you can see here, it's like this swivel arm that you're able to mount. And this right now it's mounted onto my A6400. I have that small rig cold shoe relocation here on the side. And what's nice about this thing is that if you actually turn the monitor on and you hook it up just like that. Now you can actually have the monitor as well as a light right above it and you have nothing blocking your screen. So if you need some extra light while you're out and about, if you're vlogging or anything like that, you can actually still see your monitor as well as the light is now lighting you up. So as you can see here, it's really adjustable too. So you can pretty much get super bright. This is only at 30%, look how bright that is at 30%. You can actually keep your monitor in view, nothing obstructing the view, and then you hook up this bracket as well as a light right above it. And then if you even want the light to come from the side just a little bit, you can actually hook it up there. So you can actually vlog just like that with some light coming off the side. You can actually tilt it down, tilt it up. I mean, there's a bunch of ways you can use this thing. So. That's where I was like really impressed with it because of the fact it's so versatile and I can light myself up. So as you can see here, this is 51%. I mean, that's nothing, it's only half. And once you tighten that up and I go up to 100, you know, this thing is, if you're gonna be using this to do interviews or if you even want to vlog in low light, I mean, this thing is really, really, really bright. And like I mentioned, this whole swivel action here is like, to me, it was like a game changer. It has a bunch of quarter 20s all around it. So you just quarter 28, there's two or three on the front, there's one on the side. So you're able to mount this in almost any direction on any type of mount that you have right now. It does come with this cold shoe to quarter 20 mount. And like I said, you can put it here on top, you can twist it around. So this goes 360 if you wanna move it around. And as far as color goes, it's an RGB light, but at the same time it also goes from 2500 Kelvin all the way up to 85. So if you want something that's nice and warm at 2500, of course, that's pretty extreme, but you can actually just dial this up. You know, you put it around 5600, 54, 5600, and you get something more along the lines of daylight. You have the full spectrum of light. So with this function scroll wheel at the very top, you're able to now go through and change the hue. And there's even a hue indicator on the back here. So if you just wanna to jump to a specific hue, it actually helps you out by giving you a little reading on the back. So if you wanna to go to a specific number like 240, you just have to switch this up, go to 240 and you can see the color change. So it gives you something very, very accurate. And then the bottom switch, no matter what setting you're in, will switch to dim mode all the way from zero and then you can switch it all the way up to 100. And if you've seen a bunch of my previous videos, I will light up the back of my backdrop here with this light itself and change the color out. So I'll make sure I put a bunch of samples up here on screen just to show you some of the previous videos I've been using where I put this on a light stand, basically just light up the background. As you can see right here, if I were to put this on, you know, just this blue, bump it up to 100. And as you can see, if I were to light up the background, now the background gives you such a different look, but here in the foreground, I'm able to just light myself up with more of a natural color light. But here in the background, I'm also able to change it up into this blue. And that's what I really liked about it. I was able to kind of customize my kind of room and my setup, depending on the type of video I was doing. 
So as you can see, this is more of like a purple, which is really cool. On the back here, there's also a battery indicator as well as telling you what function or setting you're in. On the top, you have a USB-C, so it's nice that they have a USB-C plug up top, as well as the on and off switch at the very top. And besides just the standard color settings, they have a few kind of creative modes here. If you're to switch this on, you have these strobe type of lights. So it's almost like a, you know, an emergency or a police officer type of light. Off. And then you can actually put this here just to kind of give you a little bit, just to give you a little bit of an idea of what it could do, where it's almost like a police light. And then if I switch it to the next one, this is just a strobing red one. There you go, it's kind of like a lightning in a way. So if you were to put this in a window, uh, put this on the side right here, it almost looks like there's a little bit of lightning coming through your window. So each one of them has its own settings. So if I were to go into something like this where it's changing color, now with the light comes a nice little nylon case, but they thought about a little bit of everything even with the case itself because it's form fitting. Then in the front here, they have a little pocket for the wrench, which is really cool because every time you buy like an accessory, more, it's more likely if it does have like a wrench or something, it's more like it's just loose in the bag or you always have to keep it in your backpack in like a specific area. Here, they actually have it hidden behind the Velcro with a little sign that says there's a wrench there. So all you have to do is open this up and then the wrench is right behind it. Take it out. So if this ever gets a little bit loose, like if you're putting this on your camera and some of the hinges get a little bit loose and you wanna make sure those are like really nice and tight, all you have to do is tighten those up here as well as tighten up the middle one. And then now your hinge is a lot tighter. So if you know you're gonna be putting on a camera, you don't want it to move and you might be moving your camera around a lot more, you wanna make sure that those hinges are nice and tight on there. Even here on the back, they have the Molly style straps. So if you have a backpack, that has those molly webbings on the back. They have it so you're able to hook up these you know, straps to it. So then it makes it a little bit more portable, a little bit more convenient if you wanted to keep this accessible on the outside of your bag. And here's the other mount that I would normally actually use this on my monitor, but you can actually use it the same way here on the light. So if you wanted to put this on top of your camera and swivel it this way, as well as swivel it this way, there's so many different options for you with this type of mount. Now, if I were to turn this off, so let's take this off here. You know, could I use this as a key light? You might be able to, you might be able to get away with it. This is really harsh right now, but if you were to hook this up with a soft box behind it, I mean, technically you could pretty much use this as a key light or I could switch it up and use it just like how I'm using this one, which is a rim light. So as you can see, I turn this one back on. Now this is my rim. And this is more of my edge or rim light here that I'm using, which is the aperture light, the Tri-8. Now I can do that. And if I wanted to replace it with that one, now I can actually use this one and put this in place of that. You know, you could definitely use it in many situations as a key rim fill uh, or just an accent light. As you can see right now, I have a couple accent lights. These are just loom cubes. I have a loom cube over here in this cube right here, and also another loom cube right here lighting up right behind the monitor. So, you know, if I wanted to add some color, if you just want to use it as an accent light, you could definitely do that. You have the full range of color for that. Uh, and like I mentioned, if you want to use it for something like a key or a fill or a rim light, like I have it right now, you kind of have a little bit of everything because of how bright it is. Um, I have it as my top down light when I'm doing some product stuff. I have it as a fill for my top down photography. And you can see actually some of my photos on my Instagram where I'd put it behind the product so you can use it so you can you know get some more creative lighting behind your product shots. So there it is guys, that's the Bowling LED RGB light at 150, 159, I think this is a pretty big pickup. And like I said earlier, links down below in the video description so make sure you guys check those out. And of course, if you guys got some value from my video, don't forget to hit the like button. And always don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. This is Aldrin Astacio with flightpath.com. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.